Thank you for being here, my friend. And on this video, I will give you a basic idea how you can make the headliner for this uh, 1964 Biscayne. It's a Chevy uh, station wagon. And you can see right there how it is. My brother will be working on this car too, but I will uh, concentrate on this video on the headliner. That's what uh, I will going to do. And maybe if I had a chance, I will record another video related maybe with, uh, with the seat, some bicycle and something like that. As you can see, that's the way uh, I received this headliner. And I'm going to start removing everything. Everything, sometimes those are chrome, but on this time are metal and are the same color with the car so I'm going to remove all those that's metal too if you never done, have done something like this before just pay attention how do you remove it because you have to put everything back my friend everything that you remove you have to put it back some people tell me why do you say it is an easy headliner it is an easy headliner believe me uh, of course you have to know the basic how to use the sewing machine but compared to some other headliner this is easier to do it it's easier you can take them apart it's easier to cut it and easier to put it back you see that headliner that is hard to do it i made that one long time ago so uh I, that one is hard to do it too because you have a sunroof and it is mercedes so those kind of handrooms those kind of headliner are hard to do it you have to, you see that one that one is for the 1939 uh, for uh, coupe, and those ones are hard. Uh, on this video, you don't have to worry about if you have experience or you don't have experience doing headliner. I will give you an idea how you can make it, how you can cut it, and how you can put everything back on, same like how it was. Just pay attention uh, on this video. In case if you're going to take them apart and you are not sure how to put everything back, uh, just take photo my friend take picture and in that way by doing that you will have like a extra hell in case you don't remember so i'm going to start taking my part first thing i start from the front sometime i start from the back so on this time i will start removing from right here and first thing that i'm going to remove are the sun visor and then those moldings that are holding part of the headliner I'm going to use a screw gun to start removing but just keep on mind if you don't have experience uh, doing headliner or using a screw gun uh, do it by hand will take you more time but that's better for you to do it because you don't have experience if you are watching this video and you are a professional doing a postery so uh, I don't have nothing to show you my friend because you are a uh, professional so the only thing that I can say is thank you so much for being here watching this video thank you so I removed the sun visor already and I'm going to start removing those molding. Put all those screws on the same plate, my friend, because you're going to use it back. Uh, don't lose nothing. Re remember everything that you are taking apart, you must have to put it back on. And sec if it, the customer don't want it back. So but most of the time they want it and don't lose nothing. I am removing that post. That post is easy to remove. It just come with uh, three screws. Uh, one on the top and one on the bottom and the other one is on the bottom but on the outside you see that molding i just removing those screws are a different size set. don't confuse it don't think all the screws are the same size no one is longer than the other one <coughs> now i am removing that mirror To do this, you have you just have to know the base about how to how to use in the sewing machine. The rest, I will give you an idea how you can do it. And I am removing the passenger side uh, from post. Uh, that is metal too. Sometimes those ones are plastic. When that plastic, you have to uh, spend a little bit more time just removing because when it's all, are easy to uh, break those plastic. Now to remove this light. <clears throat> a lot of people have a hard time removing this part, but it is easier. See, that pole is not working, it's not, turn, it's not turning on. And can be the pole is blow off or the fuse is not working properly. The fuse, fuse is blow off. So you just straight those metal in there. R3 uh, metal is making sure to straight. 
by straight this will come up by almost by itself you have to pull a little bit and then you have to separate that plastic in there from that metal just be careful it is old and it is easy to break it see i am spending time right there pushing just try to remove one side first and then try to remove the other side and that part is out so see how easy it is now we're going to remove this post uh, sometimes these are plastic and sometimes they are like a hardboard but on this uh, case it is metal and i'm going to remove two screws one on the top one on the bottom see it's out now we're going to remove this uh hood this is for the for the cloth hanger it's for the hanger that thing is out now to screw right here too and it is out so like that and you saw me removing those molding i'm going to remove the rear molding same thing just be careful and make sure how they are on because you have to put it back see those molding i'm going to remove it i'm not going to show you because it is easier to do it so after you're done removing those molding you're going to have to remove the hairliner there are three different ways how you can make this hairliner. I'm going to show you one way how you can do it. <clears throat> I have some uh, vi previous videos on my channel that you can see some other way how you can do it. Um, I don't want to get uh, deep into those uh, different kind of hairliner because I don't want to spend time on there. I'm going to concentrate them on this. Just remove everything, the whole material. Uh, cut it or pull it and whatever easy it is for you you see I done removing the hairliner but you can see those wires are there so one thing right there you make sure those wires are straight you see are not straight as straight as possible my friend because you're going to cut the new material uh, by those wires if those wires are not on the right place right position if you cut the material you might be uh, and then do it a new one so you see one two three four five six seven eight nine you have to cut nine pieces <clears throat> excuse me nine pieces and you have to measure in one by one see i got nine i have been round nine pieces on there first you have to find out how big it is you have to get a measuring tape and measuring that width and the length most of the time uh, the weight of this material is 60, 58, but the material sometimes it is 54 inches, so you have to cut it sideways. So this is 56, I'm going to give you 60, I'm going to give you 4 inch, inches extra, right there. And all of them are 60 inches, there are some exceptions. Sometimes the material from the front is like a four inches less than the rear. So because the car is smallest on the front and wider on the back. So make sure that before you start cutting, make sure all those pieces are the same width. I mean and the same length. <clears throat> See right there, I got the front. The front is uh, 16 by 14. See, 16 by 14. And you're going to measure it one by one. If you have eight inches, give it nine. Why nine? Because you're going to take in half inch on one side and half inch on the other side when you are sewing it together. So give it a half inch extra for the seams. And same, you're going to do the same with all of those. This one had 12, you have to give it 13. That's one example. See, I got that one and I got that one. That is with, with extra already, 12, 60 by 12 and a half. With our extra is 16 by 11 and a half. So like that, you're going to keep cutting or measuring all those ones. I have been with uh, with the uh, flu for two weeks, so my voice is, is different, not like how it was. <clears throat> so you see right there, I am measuring how 11 and a half. 
you have to give it 12 and a half and you see that why I'm on there look a stray it has to be a stray that's very important when you're going to cut those things very important my friend 16 by 12 and a half a uh, long time ago when I was learning how to uh, make headliner this kind of headliner there wasn't a YouTube no video no nothing just uh, paying attention to the guy who was teaching me but uh, right now everything is easier you have somebody who is teaching you plus you have extra help on on internet and in this case and you too so you see how i'm measuring all those pieces and i am write it down every piece i am write it down i know one side is 60 all of them are going to be 60 then by the it go by the by those pieces <coughs> Some of those pieces are the same weight and some of them are not so write it down and what you are sewing don't get confused those pieces don't get confused put a number on the number one I all do this all the time the front is number one then the second number two number three then the last one on the back is the last number this will be nine <coughs> so I got those uh, all those pieces all those I mentioned all those pieces already and I write it down <clears throat> now see 60 by 12 and a half 60 by 12 and a half those two are the same 60 by 16 that, that must be uh, the rear one so this wire these pieces you measure them straight right 60 by 12 16 by 13 so that's that's the side but on that corner you have to cut them in there to get to make the material uh, follow the shape of the car if you don't make a special cut in there will be a lot of wrinkle and you will not able to make it without uh, cutting that you will see what kind of cut that I going to make first you have to uh, measure in, uh, the wire the wire it is straight but then go down it's bended the wire is bended so you have to measure that straight part if that straight part is 40 write it down 40 okay because then you're going to take the material to the table and then you're going to make like a special uh, cut it write it down on this all those wire the straight part of those wire are 49 the straight part of those wire are 49 this wire is like 40, uh, 56, the total uh, length is 56, but the straight part is 49, 49, so write it down, 49. The sun is hitting a straight right there, that's why you cannot see it, but you see right there, it is a straight, right? But right there is not a straight, go like down, so that part you have to cut the material in there and you have to make like a special cut on there and I will show you how <clears throat> so you got the material on the table this material it is for a four like a four it's, it's a four material four vinyl can be for Mustang uh, can be like a those classic car but it is for four but this guy is putting on this Chevrolet so I'm going to use it right here so I got all those pieces on there all those measurements there's first thing is square the material and now you have to start uh, measuring the front piece I always cut it first so the front piece is 14 14 inches right here uh, most of the time I just uh, draw one lane and uh, must be with pencil don't, don't use a marker marker is not good sometimes you can see it through it and I am drawing a lot a line see I'm going to draw three lines because if you are learning, I want you to understand completely how this is. 
but with when you get experience one line is more than enough so that part is the front and the front panel and this is the second panel this is the number two one you see i mark with f f in front and this is the number two so make sure when the material is stretched a lot or you are using a stretchy material when you are measuring it's a little bit different this it doesn't stretch at all So you see, I draw three lines, unnecessary, believe me, unnecessary to draw those three lines. One, it is more than enough. <clears throat> so right here, I'm going to do the same thing right here, draw. If you are learning, uh, those lines will be help you a lot, believe me, a lot, when you are sewing it together. So when you draw those lines, you have to find the divide the material among two. And remember, the straightest part of that uh, wire or that bar in there is 49 inches. So you have to give 49 inches because it's that straight. Now you have to cut it. And here is the thing. This is very important. You can apply this technique to a lot of eyeliner, but some of them are different. But you, here you have the idea. This is just an idea how you can make this eyeliner. No, all, all the eyeliner are the same. See that? I'm going to start cutting from outside to inside one inch to end on nothing on there. See? One inch on the from outside to end on nothing. To right there. You see from that line right there through the other line are 49 inches. This is just an idea. From that mark there through this mark 49 inches. I, I didn't mark right here, just showing you. Because uh, it's not necessary to mark, but just mark one that way you can see. And I'm going to keep cutting the rest of the material. Just following the measurement. And then at the end you have to do the same thing. And I had the other piece of material right there and same thing. 60 divided by half is 30. Then uh, you have 49, 24 and a half inches and 24 and a half. 24 and a half, that would be 49. And then you have to put a mark in there and draw a line. See? And don't get confused with the, all those pieces. Remember, the width of those pieces are not the same. Two, only two width are the same. Twelve, I think it was twelve and a half. Two pieces are uh, sixty by twelve and a half. See right there. See those mark are very important. Are not necessary to do it, but if you are learning, do it. That way you learn the right way. I do it just because the video is so, uh, not necessary to do if you have experience. That number four, that number five, that number six. See, 
16 by 14 and a quarter. Fourteen by twelve and a quarter, fourteen by twelve, fourteen by thirteen, and then you have to make a uh, cut it. Same thing like I showed you on the first piece. And then here is the next step. You have to sew in those pieces. This is one way. There is another two different ways how you can do it, but getting the same result. This is just one way, guys. Don't think because I am doing this way. You cannot do the same thing, but with a little bit different process, with a different process. I'm going to use, first thing that you have to do is check your, check your machine, put oil on it, adjust the, the length of the stitch. Don't make the stitch too big. Don't make it too small. I would say uh, five stitch per inch on her line that's well, all depend what kind of material you sew into. This is a listing ready made. This is for the wire. Sometimes you have to use the same material, the same hairline material. It's another way how you can do it. And I just fold it like that. See? Three fingers away from that mark, I'm going to put the listing. Three fingers away from that mark. This it is, I do this most of the time. But sometimes it is different. Sometimes you have to put the listing all the way across. <clears throat> the bigger side of the, the, the stitch on my machine is, is a 5. Right now I am using 12. So I am coming. The biggest is 5 and the smallest is 24. So I am on 12. Just figure out right there how big is the stitch that I am using. And I start sewing a little by little. Make sure to go on top of the mark on that lane. It is very important. When you have experience, like I say, it's not necessary to um, draw those lines. Just one, the one from the center. But if you are learning, you see, right, like right now, you have to go exactly on top of the mark. That lane. What happens if you don't go on top of that mark? Well, when you put the line, you will see those lines crooked. You won't see it like a straight. If it does lie on that straight and, you, and uh, this, help, this job it is for the customer that is paying you a lot of money, he wants something nice, he might uh, uh, not accept it. the job that just just made it for him. So make sure to do it nice and as straight as possible. There are some customers, they pay really, really uh, close attention to this kind of stitch, but most of them, they don't pay attention. I just charge them enough and make sure to do a nice job because remember that job that customer can send you more customer can send you more job that way you have to make sure to do a nice job because he will recommend some other more uh, some other customer so you see and I'm going to end right there three finger away from that mark same thing three finger and then I cut it. Then, then I will do the same thing. You see, I got two pieces on there already together with the listing in there. But I'm going to put these pieces together with the other one. And I will put them on top. And will be the same thing, three finger away. And I will put the listing under some and uh, some apostle uh some apostle they put the listing on top but that doesn't matter if you go on top or go on the bottom the most important thing is to come in nice see i am putting the three edges even in there the two edges from the headliner material then the other edge from the listing together have to uh line line up <coughs> And sew it exactly on top of the line. Sometimes I don't put the, uh, uh, the listing material, just give it extra to the uh, headliner material. And I uh, made the 
that loops or that listing with that headline material at the same time and I just cut it right there and I will so sewing I will sew all those pieces like like how you see me in there I will do that rest exactly like I did this is number three that I am sewing I just will sew in two more I think uh, with two more it is uh, more than enough for you to get like uh, the whole idea the machine that I am using is a console at 226 it's an old, old machine but it's, it's heavy duty machine believe me I haven't done a heavy thing on this I have been sewing a heavy thing and respond that's the good thing that I like it so this hairline is already done sewing so now I have to take it to the table and I have to put those wire too but first you have to go and remove those wire from the hairline pay attention how those wire are make sure don't confuse those wire if you think you're going to confuse put number one put number two and then same thing the the first wire you should put them on the first uh, lifting, the first part of the hairline. Don't confuse it. See, it reads right there. That wire should be right there when you are put it back with the hairline. I got one. That's one. I put them on the front. And I'm going to remove the other one. That's the number two. And I'm going to remove the other one. That's number three. Some hairliner, you have to put insulation. On this one, the insulation is in good condition. That's what I am not going to put insulation. But in sun, I recommend you to put insulation. And there are a lot of different kinds of insulation, like heat shield, like dynamite. But put insulation or put foam. But you can see on this one, the insulation is in good condition. So I'm not going to touch or add a, a new insulation. <clears throat> After I remove those wires, I'm going to put them inside this listing. See? number two is going on number two lifting and number three is going on number three and number four is going to on number four okay <clears throat> I got those listing in there now you have to put glue I am going to use a glue pad a glue gun if you don't have a glue, glue gun and you're planning to do all manually you buy the glue and buy a brush and apply glue on both the uh, surface on um, the car but on the material by hand <coughs> if you're going to put glue by hand I recommend you to go and put the headliner then put glue when the headliner is on the car even some people some upholstery they put they put the hairline on the car then they go and then they go and put glue in there i prefer do it this way just to have to do it faster one time and then go to the car and put glue in there and do it faster and then go and put the hairline if you waste too much or you take it too much time and this process uh the glue might dry and it's not going to work and i'm going to stick it stick it to the metal of the car I am putting glue and I'm putting glue a lot. This material doesn't stretch at all. Now I'm going to put glue right there. This hairliner comes with a staple, one, one quarter length staple in there. But I will put glue. I feel it's not that I feel insecure with uh, putting glue just with the staple. Um, but I think it will hold a strong. Uh, a strong stay strong by applying glue and then put a staple and then I'm putting glue right here right here it's very important to put enough glue in there very important to put enough glue because if you don't put enough you have to put more glue uh, applying more glue later you see the back area you have to put glue too already had glue in there I already put glue and all in the back I already put glue too everything in there around there had glue I just showed you part of this process how you can put glue on the car. 
now we're going to print the headline. Sometimes you have to put uh, the headline starting from the front, and sometimes you have to start it from the back. All depend where are the hook, where are those hook. Right here, the wire number two, it have it had those uh, hood, and you, uh, that's what I'm going to put uh, the, uh, the wire number two first. Sometimes those hood are on the back, and then you have to start from the back. moment I will show you what I'm, I'm doing right now I just see uh, the room right there is so small that it's not as paid for the camera but it's not a big thing uh, it just uh, I have to make sure to put the wire number two inside uh, some piece of metal right there then you have to hit it with the hammer uh, to make sure hold that uh, wire in the right place so I will show you right now, you will see it. See there is that part that I just put in, you see that uh, wire, that hood? I put the wire in there and then I hit it with the hammer. That wire is perfect right there, so now I'm going to put the first wire starting from the front. <coughs> and make sure to put them on the right hole. It had three holes each side. When you're going to remove the wire, make sure in which hole it is, it's on you have to do it put them on the same way so this uh, is in and I'm going to do the same thing with the rest of those wire I'm going to give you like a closer view right here you see I get the wire and you will see three hole in there you see three hole so this wire was on the uh, bottom hole and I put the same thing on the bottom same thing on the other side <clears throat> and make sure to put them straight because if you put all those wires and you don't put uh, uh, you don't straight them up later on if you try to move it and put them on the right place it would be harder and sometimes you have to remove wire <clears throat> so do it, do it once and do it right and you see I, am, I keep uh, putting those wires inside and I'm making sure uh, they are on the right place and like that I keep going to uh, reach the last wire and remember this headline had glue already eh? and I put all those wire so now I have to straight the headliner by this time you will see the headliner all with wrinkle you can see him on there have a lot of wrinkles but that's okay it is not done some people start from the uh, size but I prefer starting from the front the front or the back that's a matter I'm going to start from the front the corner right there, I just pull it. And it had glue, so I just stick the material in there and making sure that the material, not, I don't want the material to come out. And you can see him on there. Those wrinkles are going to come out a little by little. But all the hairline should be plain. This hairline is not, it's not a stretchy and it is not hot. It is kind of cold, so when the, this cold, this material get hard if it was hot not not a problem it is easier to install a hairline a hairliner uh, when it's hot that when it is cold sometimes you have to use like a heat gun so I got that two corner already and you can see him on there I'm going to start putting some staple because I don't want this to come in and glue it especially when I pull uh, pull them on the, on the back maybe the front part if I don't pull a staple my my unglue it and I put a staple in there and I put a lot of staple because I am not going to unglue that part
that is tapered that I am using are uh, one quarter length. Now I'm going to do the back, and it's the same thing. First, I make sure that the headliner is on the center. Then I pull them on. See right there, that is the center. Right there is the center. So now I pull at this corner, and you see those wrinkles. I have to keep pulling until I uh, get rid of the wrinkle. When you are making a headliner out of fabric, out of, out of vinyl or out of leather, it is harder than fabric. When you are making a headliner out of suede or fabric, it is so easier to do it. So I just put a step right here, and you can see it. You can see it clearly right there. Those wrinkles are coming out a little by little. And I put a staple. Sometimes when you don't have like a base to a staple, you have to make it out of board, out of wood, you have to make it sometime. Now I just pull it right here. So you see that part? It is knife on there. I have to put a molding on there. Rid of the wrinkle a little by little. I put the, where the seam is, then I put a staple. See, I put the other where the uh, seam is. See those ring coming there? So when you pull it, those wrinkles should come out. I'm going to put some staple in there, just make it sure to hold that part is strong. Then I pull it, I remove this staple right here. And you see that part? Nice, huh? Wow, it's looking nice. It's not done yet, but it's looking nice. And I'm going to do the same thing on the other side. Pull it, pull one staple. Same thing on the other stitch. And I just pull it right here. If, if it has to use like a heat gun to get rid of some wrinkle, I will. I will use it. So for example, in that part right there, there is a small wrinkle. But when I put the molding on there, it will uh, eliminate that wrinkle. That part is done. So now we're going to do that from... Uh, the driver's side. I'm not going to show you the passenger side because basically it is the same. So I'm going to cut it like a one inch away from that uh, piping. There is a, a half inch piping, and I cut it like a half inch away. That's mean I mean one inch away, one inch extra, because I had to tuck it in in there. I get a spatula, I'm using a spatula. And right there, be careful, remember, you are using, you are putting a new headliner, it's almost done, and you don't want to scratch that part with the spatula. So, uh, be careful. And I put it right here, same thing right here. And it is almost done. 
So uh, I did I did already the size. Now I'm going to uh, trim the front part. You can trim it with a scissor or you can use a raising blade. Uh, any way you choose. And I'm using a raising blade because it is faster and it is easier. It is almost done. It is not done yet. I, ha I just have to put all those molding around uh, exactly how they were. And that's what I'm going to do right now. I, plus, I have to put the light in there. I have to make a hole for the light. But that should be the last part. The light always I'll do as a last part. Now, you're going to put this uh, molding. This comes with three screw, our Philip screw. If you don't have experience or you are experienced or you are learning about upholstery, uh, don't use the uh, uh, wireless screw gun. See, I'm going to uh, put this molding in there, the front molding. This is a complete car. My brothers are going to, they are still working on it. Uh, I think they are waiting for me to move out, out of here to make the carpet and my uh, uh, and then I'm going to make the seat if I ha if I had chance I maybe uh, make another video related to the seat this uh, seat have like a will have like a special design so not right now I am uh, putting the uh, passenger side uh, molding because it is new you have to put the molding on there then you have to find the hole make sure the hole is the molding is exactly on there i it's not tight yet the molding i just put it on uh, with the screw then i'm going to do the uh, the mirror i can tie the mirror right now i find the hole this is this process is all most of the time it is the same you got the molding, you gotta find the hole, then you have to put the screw. Find the hole when you are making a new headliner first. It's very important. Now you're going to put this other molding. And this molding comes with three screws. Then I am putting that post. That post come with uh, uh, two screw. Make sure to put the post exactly where it was. It is easy to scratch the, uh, scratch the dashboard with that molding. So be careful. <coughs> So that is done. So just find the hole in there. Then I put uh, that screw, and then I'm going to type the other molding. I have to put this panel. Uh, sometimes this is plastic, but in this case it is metal. Come with two screws. One more thing to do. I had to put the light to. Right there. Sometimes those lines come with the screw. In order to remove the light, you have to remove the, uh, two or three screws. Uh, when it comes with the screw, uh, remove the screw but then put it back. That way it is easy to remove it. 
at to find a hole. Right here, he had two had three uh, metal two tips, and you can feel it. You can feel those metals, so just cut it, make the hole small. Better to make it small because you can adjust the later. I always do this hole later. Always, always. Now I have to uh, bring that light out through the hole and it is out. So now I can feel 100% uh, where the metal are located. See, I can feel it. Right there, three metal, three hole. I'm going to make the hole a little bit uh, big. So, and I'm going to uh, pop that uh, metal come through the vinyl. <coughs> Excuse me. So, those metal are uh, out, and I'm making sure. So you have to put that light through that piece of metal too. Be careful, the plastic is so, and might, it might be toasted, and might, uh, if you make too much pressure, you, you might uh, break it. I have to straight those like, a, are like a peanut, but a, no, are not tina, are peanuts. And I have to make uh, sure those metal come through the other part. Then I'm going to twist it with, I'm going to use the plier just to twist it a little bit. <clears throat> By twisting, I am locking that uh, place in there. So that place is tightened, it's not going to come out. But I have to put a chrome in there on top. Do you remember this ball? Uh, it wasn't working. You pressure and then you uh, you turn turn to the left or turn it to the right. So it is like that crumb in there. Now I am going to put the ball, but remember it wasn't working. So it can be two things. Right here can be uh, the pole is blow out, the fuse is blow out, maybe, maybe we don't know yet, but we're going to find out. You see those fuse? Those fuse are good. None of them are blow out. So second thing that you should check, if it, there is electricity, and I'm going to use this tester, this uh, snap-on, like 80 or 90 pack, something like that, but it's a good, for this kind of thing, it is excellent. It's connected to the ground. And I'm going to see if there is electricity. Yes, there is electricity. You can see it on there. It is red. That means it's electricity. So if it is there is electricity, there is power, the ball must blow out. So, perfect. So the customer must, must have to buy a new uh, ball. There is another way how you can check the ball, but I'm not going to do it right now. I am pretty sure the ball is not working. <coughs> And I'm going to show you how this headliner look at that. And that's how it was. That's what they, they bring it to to here. And they how look at the end. Look look that headliner. Look nice. Look those wire. Those stitch straight. It is very important. I have I will uh, make a video related to the sun visor. See? It look nice. I, ha I had done just a headliner. <clears throat> it is time for me to get out of here. My brother are work waiting for me to, to do the carpet. Look how it look. It look nice. It's not because I made it. No, I can tell you when something uh, look nice just by the way you see it if you are just learning about upholstery this video might be help you a lot I wish when I was learning how to make a liner 
could have a video to give me like an idea how to make it. And it's not because I already know everything. No, I am still learning. Believe me, I still learning. I don't know everything. You can see them on there. I give you an idea how to remove the headliner, how to cut it. That is very, very important. Cut it right. And how to start. You saw the full process. So thank you so much if you are watching this video. Thank for your passion. Thank for watching the video. I hope you enjoy it. If that was the case, don't forget to hit the like button. And see you in another video. Thank you.